everyone, Brianna here from Stinky Canuck. I'm here to review the Lacemo L1 200 watt device. This one has the display screen. So bear with me, I've only been uh, playing with this for a couple of hours. <clears throat> I'm still learning all the different tricks that it has. It takes two 18650 batteries. The nice thing about this one is it is micro USB chargeable, so you don't have to pop these out and charge them externally all the time if you don't want to. <clears throat> On and off is five clicks. Um, I set it to 70 watts. There's really good vapor production. I find this fires, or gives me a lot smoother vape than the Snow Wolf that I have been using. So I'll just show you how it works. I'm running a TFE4 Mini um, with a triple coil in it, which is a 0.21 ohm. This fires from 0 0.05 up to 2.5, and it is temperature controlled if you want as well. The other neat thing about this is that it can connect to your iPhone. It's Bluetooth capable. So to turn Bluetooth on and off, you just hit the plus and minus buttons right here at the same time, and you'll see your little Bluetooth symbol come up there. <clears throat> Make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone. Mine is off, so just one second here. Okay, and then you download the Lacemo app, which is right here, and it'll come up with unknown device. Now you can rename this to L1 or Brianna's Vape or whatever you want. So you'd select it and it'll come up with all of your stats. So it tells you if you're in temperature control mode, running a temperature control coil, it would give you the temperature in Fahrenheit. I've got Fahrenheit selected. The other option is centigrade. Um, you've got your power mode there. It gives you your volts and the ohms of your coil. This one's pre really precise. Usually they'll say, you know, Point two or whatever. Um, and then you have different options down here. These options are also available on the device so you can tweak them either on the device itself or on your phone. So under mode you see you can pick the power mode which is what I run in because I'm not using a temperature control coil. There's nickel, titanium, and stainless steel as well. Under plan it counts your puffs and you can go and look at each of your days and see how many puffs you had in that day. This is the smoking log, which should say vaping log. I digress. Uh, I'm not really sure what that will show yet because the day's not done, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow. And then under settings, this is where you can change the name of your device. You can change it from Fahrenheit to centigrade. There's a standby time, set the date, is in here. You can also do a factory reset from there as well. You can also set how many puffs you have in a day. So if you want the cutoff to be you know 200 puffs or whatever you would just enter that in. I don't have it set because I don't want to be controlled that way. <laughs> okay now onto the device. You can also change your wallpaper and things from the phone uh, or in here itself. Okay so you'll see up here there's the time, your battery life, the Bluetooth, and to turn that off, it's just you click both of the buttons at the same time, the plus and minus at the same time. There's also, you can't see it there, uh, the date and the time and the battery life. Okay, so to access the menu from the device itself, you're gonna click the fire button three times, fast. And you're gonna see, this is so hard to see. Okay, so you'll see the wattage is in red. Now you can um, use the minus button and select the different options. Okay, so right there is wattage. There's the power mode. You can uh, hit the fire button and then you can change from there to nickel, stainless steel, uh, titanium, whatever. Hit the down button again. You're into M1. So you click M1. And then the up button, it's gonna put you into Fahrenheit. So you're gonna be in temperature control that way. I don't like temperature control. I don't run a temperature control coil, so I'll go back to the watts. Under the settings right there, this is where you can change your wallpaper, your font color, um, how long before the screen turns off. You can set how long your puff 
uh, length will be before the device turns off anywhere from five seconds to 20 if you want that limitation. And I'm gonna put the, yeah, the screen turns dark at 10 seconds works for me. That would save your battery life as well if you have that set to um, shut off quicker. And then there's also the user manual on here which is under the question mark. User manual, which is pretty cool. They give you a little tour of the the front desk production and the detection as well, which is kind of neat. So yeah, that's the device. Um, it's pretty cool. I've got the moon wallpaper. There's like a, a lake with a mountain wallpaper as well. Uh, it's really neat. I, I like I like quickly being able to see all of this. I like the ease of um, the customization and how many different options you can customize. And it's just it's a really, really neat device. And yeah, it gives a really good vapor. So that's my little review on the Lacemo L1200 watt.